Welcome back everyone. In this one, we are going to go ahead and deploy our application and make it live. So up to this point, we basically have built out almost every feature we wanted to build. Now we would want to make it live just so we can share it with anybody else in the world. So the easiest way to deploy these Django applications, especially if it's still like for testing and development, Heroku is always a very good option. So we will be deploying to Heroku. But for now, for us to be able to deploy to Heroku, we are going to need to work with a few modules. One of them is going to be Django Heroku. So what it will be doing is basically setting up our app to run fine on Heroku. So the way we configure that is we need to first install it. Yeah, so I'm going to go in my terminal. Then I'm going to install Django Heroku. Okay, so you notice that I get a lot of errors here. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly what could be wrong. But what I know is it's it's an issue to do with PsychoPG2. So the way we can fix this is to actually install PsychoPG2 separately and install an earlier version of it. So if I go to PyPy, we are going to be installing PsychoPG 2.7.7, although that's not like the latest version. The latest version is, let's see. So yeah, there's a new version, 2.8.5. So we'll stick to this. So if we need to first install it first, so pip install psychopg2277. And then now if we run Django Heroku, Django Heroku, you can see that now it installed successfully. So once we have that, now we need to, to go ahead and configure our project with Django Heroku. So here, you can see that we need to import this one in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the import. So here, in settings.py, I'm going to bring in the import and then I'm going to now run this. Okay, so here down where, where they like to the bottom, I'm going to run this here. Okay, so once we have that one in there, now we need a way to serve our application on Heroku. So here in development, you notice that we have a command called run server and basically that gives us a development web server that you can use to write a, write the application and then test it locally but when we want to, to run this on hero we are going to be using an http server called gunicorn so we need to install it too so pip install gunicorn and of course it should be pip not pip and will not pipe all right so that will install it for you so once you get that then of course we need to update our requirement.txt so pip freeze requirements txt so so once we freeze that now the environment will be updated now that we have that we need to define how heroku should run our application so the way heroku works is it builds the application in in phases and then you have to set up a web process so heroku looks out for a, a file called proc file so we're gonna create that now in here, we can define what happens in our build phases. So, so if you come to think of it, we would want to, like when it's building, we would want it to run our migrations and set up our database and then run our application. So the process of running migrations can happen in a release phase. So here we can define release and then we can define what happens. So one, we can want to run Python manage.py. So we want it to make migrations, make migrations, not migrations, but migrations. All right, so we want to run this in a no input mode, just so it doesn't prompt the user for any confirmations. Then after we have this, then we need to migrate, of course, so migrate. And now we need to set up a web process. So here we can now define the command that will be serving our application. So we are going to use gunicorn. So that should be gunicorn. And then the path to our WSGI app. So if you click here in our main application folder, you can see that there is a file called wsgi.py. And that's the one we want to run. So you write the path to it, wsgi, wsgi, like that. All right, so once we have that, now we can go ahead and deploy our application. So I'm going to be using the Heroku CLI. 
So make sure you come over here and get it. So once you get it, you need you will need to run Heroku login. Well, I believe I'm already logged in. So you need to run Heroku login. Once you have installed the this the Heroku CLI, so I'm, it's going to request me to put any key so it can see if it logged me in. Okay, so it's going to route me to the browser and then ask me to log in. So I'm going to click login. And now you can see that I'm logged in. And when I come over here, you can see that I'm logged in as this user. So now I can use, I can now push the code to Heroku. But before we push it, we need to first create an app. So the way we create an app is we use Heroku, which you should get by when you install the CLI. So you run create and then you give an app name. So we want to call our app, let's say income, let's call it expenses, IN app, okay? So once you run create, it's gonna go ahead and create your app. So you can see it's creating the application. One of the things you mostly will want to do is in your settings.py, you'll mostly be using this secret key for things that are like very, very crucial. So make sure you put it in our environment file and then I'll show you how we can use it on Heroku. So let's call it secret key. And then make sure that in your .env, you export it and then you set its value like we did with the other values previously. So, so if I can show you how that would look is, so here in .env, you can export your uh, secret key, secret key to equal to, to equal to your secret key. So once you have that, then it means that it will not be committed to GitHub so once you have that, basically when you push the code to GitHub, it will not be shown in the source code. But now that we have created an app, let's push the code to it. So we run git push Heroku. So the origin that we are pushing to will be Heroku. That will be the, the remote we are pushing to will be Heroku. And then we are gonna push to master. So you can see that it goes ahead to run our, our commands we defined. I think I saw it somewhere. All right, so once it's done, you, you notice that it goes ahead and runs the migrations. And then it tells us that it was deployed successfully. So now if we click on this link, you will notice that we our application is now live. We have our API documentation. Everything is great. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really quick and easy. So if there are other things that you want to do, you can actually do them on the you can actually do them on the Heroku dashboard. So if I go to dashboard.heroku.com, you will notice that the app is here. So when we click on it, we should be able to see the details. So right here, you can come you can see like all the resources it's using, then on the settings, you can see that there is a section for, so on the settings, you can see that there's a section for, for, for environment variables. So right here, you are going to need to come and set your secret key. So I'm gonna call my, my, my mind that and then if you're like sending emails, you're going to need to also add them here. So you define everything you define in the .m file, just so everything that you you are doing locally can still work fine on the, on the, on the Heroku remote. So that's gonna be doing it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.